Hi everybody, I'm Mario Hernandez and today we're going to be talking about how to download, install, and configure a starting or base theme on your Drupal website. And the purpose of doing this is uh, by using a starting theme or a base theme, uh, this gives you a, a nice starting point to design your own website. So a base theme provides a lot of uh, basic configuration already things like uh, they're cross-browser compatible, they support the HTML5 or uh, SAS and uh, many of the other uh, new technologies out there so it's already been tested uh, by the community and it's a good way to start a design project in Drupal that doesn't have much uh, to start with uh, which means that you're able to uh, have a nice starting point but you're able to apply your own custom styles uh, to your Drupal website so today we're going to uh, talk about how to download install configure one of these themes and at the same time create a sub theme out of uh, uh, our base theme so we can custom uh, design and change the look and feel of our website with our custom design so uh, the first thing to do is to head over to um, uh, drupal.org and from there what we're going to do is uh, we're going to go um, down here uh, you see where it says modules and themes so we're going to click on the themes link and uh, you can scroll here through pages and pages of different themes that are available for you to use many of them are very advanced and very well done uh, so if you already have a look and feel for your website and one of these themes matches what you are trying to accomplish, uh, you can very well simply download one of these themes, apply it to your website, and you're up and running. And there's very little to no design or style needed as long as the theme matches uh, the goal that you're trying to accomplish for look and feel of your website. So there's many themes here that are excellent uh, to use as they are without any changes. But in today's session, we're going to talk about how to apply a theme uh, and actually customize it so we apply our own design to our website. So I'm going to work with the one of the most popular base themes that are, are out there in the Drupal community, and that is the Zen theme. And as you can see, it's the very first one that shows up uh, when you go to the themes page. and uh, there are many variations of the Zen theme, but today we're going to stick with just the basic, the classic. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this uh, link here. And this brings me into the Zen, the Zen um, download page where I can read more about this particular theme. Uh, if you look here, it says, Zen is a powerful yet simple HTML5 starting theme with a responsive mobile first garden design. So it already out of the box provides a lot of support for HTML5 and responsive web design. So uh, we don't have to worry about ourselves uh, writing the styles for, for, for those um, features. And if you look here under um, uh, the things that this particular version supports, uh, HTML, XHTML5, responsive, mobile first, SAS, compass, right to left uh, orientation there. So it's, a, it's an awesome, awesome theme to, uh, theme to start with. Uh, you can read more about here uh, if you like. But today we're going to go scroll down to the download section and download the version for our Drupal, which is Drupal 7 that we're running. And here is uh, the version uh, that we need. I'm going to download the tar file because I'm using a Mac. But you can download the zip file if you're using Windows. Uh, and uh, the green area is the one that you want to focus on. This is where the official uh, production version of the theme is uh, available. The other areas that you see down here are either in development or alpha text or beta. So you might not, you probably want to stay away from those if you have a an official release of the of the theme or module for that matter. So in this case, we're going to download the tar file. And I'm going to save it on my desktop here. Uh, so I'm going to click save. And I'm going to use the tar extension and as you can see here um, it's now downloaded and if I click the tar file what it's going to do is going to um, extract the files from the tar file and if I go now to my desktop folder now I have a folder called Zen 
and this is the folder that we need this is the folder that holds our entire theme so we need to place this folder in the themes location of Drupal so I'm going to first right click on this folder and copy it and then I'm going to navigate to my uh, Drupal theme location and I already have a Drupal website up and running so I'm going to in my particular case my uh, web servers default location uh, I've modified that from the default of my web server and I uh, set that up to be under my Dropbox account under web projects and this is the website that we're going to be working with today it's just a simple vanilla install of Drupal uh, so I'm going to go into that folder and you may think that uh, because you're dealing with a theme that you will probably go into the themes folder and save your Zen folder there uh, technically you could do that but that's not recommended because this particular theme folder let me go back one level here this particular theme folder that you see in the root of the Drupal uh, folder is what comes with the core, Drupal core. So it's not recommended that you, first of all, hack core or that you uh, apply any custom styles under uh, the themes folder here. Because if you upgrade your Drupal, uh, when the next version of Drupal comes up, if you upgrade Drupal, then all your changes, all your folders will be overwritten by the new upgrade. So. Uh, for, for that reason, there is a, a specific location for any custom design or development that you can use uh, and you don't run the risk of overriding those custom design or developments when you upgrade Drupal. And that will be under the site folder, all, and either modules or themes based on what you're working with. In this case, we're drop, uh, working with uh, themes, so I'm going to go into that folder. I'm going to paste the Zen folder. And uh, this gives me a starting point for working with my theme uh, here. So if I go now to my Drupal site, which is just Drupal, and I go to the Appearance section, if I scroll all the way down to the Disabled Themes, I see Zen being there. But this is not how we're going to start a project. What we need to do now is, as I said before, Zen is a starting or base theme. And what that means, it gives you all the basic uh, elements to start your own theme. And within the Zen folder, uh, you'll see that there is a starter kit folder. This is what is called a sub theme. So uh, we're going to create a sub theme that inherits a lot of the styles and, and other elements and support uh, from the base theme Zen. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy this starter kit folder. I'm going to close the Zen folder and go one basically one level outside the Zen folder. I'm going to paste uh, our starter kit folder here so it's right at the same level as the Zen folder. And if I go into my Drupal site and I refresh the page here, um, let's see, I thought I would see, oh no, I know why, I, I don't see it. There's some files that need to be renamed, but that's okay uh, because we're going to create our own theme ourselves, anyways, and we're going to use our own name, not starter kit as the name for the theme. What we're going to do is I'm going to rename this file, I'm sorry, this folder, and I'm going to call it, just for the purpose of this uh, uh, tutorial, I'm going to call it My Theme. The thing about uh, naming your themes is that you can't, you cannot uh, name your theme within a uh, numeric character, beginning with a numeric character. It has to start with an alpha character. So uh, in this case, I use My Theme. It's always a good idea to use lowercase just to keep things simple uh, because the name does influence uh, some of the settings that you need to apply uh, on subsequent files. So if I expand my theme folder, uh, there is an info file. Every theme requires an info file. An info file is basically a file that tells Drupal how our theme is configured, what, what are the elements of our themes, what are the regions of our theme, what style sheets to use. So that info file needs to match the name of the theme. So in this case, uh, I can tell that this is our info file because it's got the name a starter kit and it's got the extension that info. And we're going to rename this file to be my theme. Remember, that's the name of our theme, that info. And we don't need the txt extension there. And yes, I want to keep the info. So again, this info file name needs to match the name of our theme which is down here 
And uh, just to quickly go over the, what's in, included in this theme, uh, we have our JavaScript folder here. Actually, let me start from the top here. Uh, this is a country file, which is useful if you're using SAS. Uh, our CSS style sheets will go here. And as you can see, there's quite a few here uh, that uh, you can opt to use or not to use. Uh, in fact, one of the things that we're going to use, uh, just to keep uh, things simple, we're going to create our own style sheet ourselves, just so we can apply our own style to our theme. So that's where our style sheet will go. We have images and images that we want to use in our design. We'll go here. Uh, all the resources here, JavaScript, uh, any scripts that we are using or creating ourselves will go there. SAS, if you're using SAS, it's where you will manage all your CSS uh, files here. SAS extensions there. There's templates. And here's some other files. You can read all about this uh, theme if you go into my read in the, the readme file you'll be able to see, let me expand this a little bit Need to move this around you can read everything about this theme uh, in more detail here, I'm just giving you a quick overview of what some of those files are and what they do but I encourage you to read this file uh, to be able to understand this theme a lot better and in fact this file has the steps of uh, configuring your theme like what I just did here, renaming this file the info file, all those steps are here in this readme file. So the other thing to do is, that I know for a fact, is uh, this uh, settings file here. If I open this on my editor, uh, this file is a file that talks to uh, Drupal and it needs to know what the name of your theme is. And as you can see here, there's the word started kit. We need to replace that with our theme name. So we're going to do my theme and I believe that's the only, let me actually do this, control F and uh, let me see here I'm going to, anything that starts with, uh, that is started, I'm going to replace it with my theme, I'm going to replace all that way we we'll get rid of any inconsistencies there so that file is done, I'm going to go back to the theme folder one more time and I believe there is another file that has a lot more to do with uh, the started kit name so let me take a look here, let me do a quick search again yeah okay this file does have quite a bit of code also and uses the started kit name so I'm going to um, replace everything there that says started kit with my theme and that way uh, if we ever need to use those scripts we can use without problem. So now that we have our base theme in place by using our own name, renaming our info file and applying some changes to the uh, uh, template and the settings file, now if I go to my Drupal website and I refresh the page, I should see um, another theme here which is this one here. It says, uh, sub theme, Zen sub theme for static kit. So one thing I like to do is I want to rename this so it shows a name that is there, that goes along with what I'm trying to do and to change that you go again into the info file where's the info file? I'm going to open this and um, you're going to change some of the information about this particular theme for example the name of the theme here says Zen sub theme um, so I'm going to call it uh, my theme okay, and the description is basically what tells you what this theme is all about my own custom sub theme okay. the rest is just uh, information about what Drupal version we're using the base theme as we talked about before is going to be the Zen so, so we can inherit a lot of the things that um, support the Zen support and here are a lot of our style sheets that this particular theme uses. The, we're going to be adding a new style sheet here. In fact, uh, we haven't created it yet, but I'm going to add a new style sheet. I'm going to copy this. And I'm going to put our own style sheet last. So our own styles are the ones that are rendered last and overwrite anything else that the sub theme provides. So I'm going to call just this styles. And. Uh, I'm going to save this. 
this file still doesn't exist but I want since I'm here I'm gonna add that already because we're gonna need to add it add this style there anyways if we have any custom JavaScript uh, that we are that we created ourselves we can add them here also so that file is done uh, I'm going to do now is I'm going to create a new file file new and um, I'm just gonna add real quick here my custom styles just a little comment there and I'm going to save this file again I'm gonna go back to my Drupal folder there it is remember we're looking at the sites folder all themes and there's my theme and I'm going to save my style sheet on the CSS folder which is where all the style sheets are saved and again we remember we, we say that we're gonna call a style sheet styles and save that there so now this reference that I made on the info file for styles is now in order because now I have my own style sheet that I can apply my own uh, design and look and feel so now if I go back to my appearance section in Drupal and I refresh the page I will see this uh, this this Zen full, uh, theme here but now it's got my own name so that tells me that my theme is is, is, is is available to Drupal and Drupal can see it and understand it. So the next thing to do is I'm going to uh, enable and set it as a default. Okay, so there it is. My theme is now uh, the default theme. If I go home, my Drupal site now provides me a look basically very minimal, up, uh, clean, with absolutely no style at all because that's what I want. I want to create just a simple theme that I can now customize myself and apply any design styles that I want. And uh, to prove that uh, this is all working, I can go into um, my CSS file that I created and I can start by, for example, doing something like the body and I can say background. Uh, I'm going to say red and see if this takes effect. I'm going to save that and if I refresh my page you can see that now the background on my website is red which means my style sheet is properly configured my theme is configured is able to see my custom style sheet and Drupal is happy now so at this point you can really start going into your CSS file and start applying any styles that you want if you already have a design in mind if you already have a mockup or a wireframe for your design now you can go into your style sheet here and start designing uh, and applying those design styles to your theme. So anyways, uh, this will do it for now. This was just a simple introduction on how to download, install, and configure a base theme and also out of that theme create a sub theme that you can customize and make your own. So I hope that that was helpful. I hope that uh, this will give you a, a, a an idea of how you will be able to customize your own theme using a simple started uh, theme like the Zen one and uh, and get you going with your Drupal project so thank you for watching and we'll see you next time thank you very much